I gotta go. Uh, my lease is up, and uh, every day my apartment plays tooted and booted just a little bit louder so that I know that time's running out. <laughs> but I'm way ahead of you, baby girl. I was gonna move out last year. Why didn't I just move out? Well, because I fell in love. I met somebody, Aww. okay? And I renewed my lease to stick around, and then they dumped me. <gasps> I look Dang. like a clown. What? But still, all my ladies independent singing with me, I had my own money. <laughs> I continued to budget to move just in case, and this getting dumped was the case. I'm packing my bags. Start stacking my paper. My wallet looked like a Bible. And I'm gonna need y'all to open it up to verse six, okay? Where it says that moving costs a lot of money. So much money, why don't we talk about that? It should be free, free to, to move. move. Yeah, yeah. you like, like that? that? It costs money to pack, to move, and then you gotta furnish the new place. My couch is here. I don't, I don't like that. that. But I budgeted, so I'm ready. <laughs> Are you? I don't wait. Wait. Oh my God. So this is the start of my moving vlog series. Now, let me tell you something. You all are gonna see a very different side of me here. According to this article on Bustle, there are plenty of studies that show moving is one of the most stressful life events. And in fact, okay, the hecho, in one of those studies, six out of 10 people said that moving is more stressful than getting a divorce. A uh, divorce. <laughs> I'd be like, girl, putting your stuff in a box and taking it to a new apartment is not more stressful than getting a divorce. But when I tell you this has been the first time that I cried during a move, you guys will see that. You guys will see it. I'm also moving during a global <laughs> pandemic. God said, what you want on top of that dirt pie? A global calamity? I got you. So with that in mind and that one meme replaying in the back of my head all the time. You in danger, girl. Let us get started with the moving vlog. Enjoy. <laughs> I think we can all agree that shopping for your new apartment, your own space, your area, is exciting, but it's also expensive. So unless you were scrubbing floors, taking orders, getting tricked instead of treated, and then plucked out of that plight of child labor and misery by a bald white man <laughs> named Zaddy Warbucks, you gonna need to pinch them pennies, baby girl. So I approached shopping a little bit differently. I didn't wanna just impulse buy things. I wanted to be intentional about what I was buying. I went into just about every single store and I just took pictures of stuff, things that I might potentially be interested in purchasing. To TJ Maxx. What the frick is that? Wait a minute. <laughs> What the damn? Window shopping. At night, I could like look through all of the things and see what really stuck out to me. Also, this whole process helped me sort of like fine tune what exactly sparked joy for me because whenever I would have this moment where I'm like, oh my God, I can't leave the store without that. I can't just like take a picture of this and like hope that I find it later. That's when I would actually purchase something. Like this mirror that I found at Home Goods that I knew I wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. I look crazy because I surely did do a whole tumble roll, Simone Biles out of the bed and straight into home goods today. I got my mirror. Oh my God, I did not expect to get this mirror, but I fell in, I literally fell in love with it. Like, it's so cute. It has this like black trim. It's a little dusty, it's a little dirty, but I'm also a little dusty, a little dirty. So listen, we're gonna be best friends. Oh my God, I can't believe it fit in my car. It fits perfectly. It's tall, it was cheaper. Um, then the other one that I was gonna get, which was the one from Ikea, the one that everybody has, the like infinity mirror. And this is like the opposite of an infinity mirror. <laughs> like it's actually concave. There's this little black trim around the whole of it, but it's literally, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this mirror. Perfect in my eyes, like I couldn't let it go. Also a little bit later where I found on Craigslist a file cabinet, something that I've been wanting for a long time. Do the Dougie down one of the aisles in the container store and you'll realize that file cabinets cost $400. Why do they cost so much? So when I found a file cabinet on Craigslist for $30 and it was the exact file cabinet that I wanted, I had to hop on it. Just picked up my file cabinet. It's back there. Woo! I look, I look crazy. And then another example of this is me purchasing something that's pretty wacky, but hear me out, sweetheart. Hear me out. I look crazy right now. It's, listen, I, my barber's, she's closed. Literally forced to grow my beard, which is okay because I kind of wanted to like move it up anyway. But this just in, this just in, alert, alert. I just purchased some lockers. Oh my God. I finally got the lockers that I wanted. 
They're six, they're tiered. It's three on the bottom, three on the top. Here, I'll show you. Here they are, these babies. Okay, so I'm, I found them on Craigslist because every single day for this past week, I've been using the keyword lockers on Craigslist and just like searching to see what, what's up. Most of the lockers that came up were antique and all busted up and rusty and dusty. I found these, they were pretty new. There was only one picture here, so I like called the number. I called them and I asked them to send me more pictures. They sent me more pictures. The thing looks brand new, I'm obsessed. So I purchased the lockers over the phone and they're gonna hold them until May 1st when I actually move. I am I just feel like this is all aligned. Last night I was looking so hard for lockers and then this morning, boom, right here. And it was, got them just like that. Um, The story of those lockers ended up being pretty, um, <laughs> Kim, this, this is your cue, yeah. Tragic. Thank you so much, tragic. But we'll get to that, okay, in one of the later vlogs. Vintage shops. Huh? huh? Let's talk about that. I was like, where have these been my entire life? They've been right there. Stupid in front of my face. The best place to search for things for your apartment because they have such unique items that you'll, you're bound to find something that speaks to you. Took a bunch of pictures there too. Here's a few things that I found. In the few vintage shops that I did get to go to, I purchased a few different knickknacks and you can see those in my apartment haul video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Now it's time to twerk to sign the lease now before i start to serve you all naked mo rat okay come on rufus also let's talk about okay let's give rufus their flowers because they single-handedly carried that show is he still here what's disney's number 1-800-DISNEY okay let's move on yes yes uh-huh i do look like this yes my eyebrows are connected to my beard but listen that's neither here nor there what we got to talk about is the fact that i'm signing my lease i'm signing my lease a clean 46 pages i have to read through every single term to make sure that like nothing crazy is popping out to me because sometimes it's a binding agreement you know i read contracts on a daily basis for my general work and i'm constantly having having to define terms and read through terms and like negotiate like i don't i don't want this in the contract this is not too, this is not good for me like but with the rental agreement it's um it's a it's a little different most of it is pretty easy and simple they don't use like the same jargon that like a corporation would even though they are a corporation. <laughs> the things that I'm looking for are fees. Like what kind of fees are come out of nowhere? So that, um, I'm looking for maintenance situations. Like what, how much does it cost if you like lose a key? Damage something, how much would it cost? What, what, is, what is happening there? Three, I'm looking for uh, what's the protocol for breaking a lease? Sometimes you gotta buy yourself out of a lease, girl. I am looking for that. Usually it's like you have to pay a certain amount of money. Usually it's like, $3,000 and you can go free. <laughs> or sometimes it's like you have to pay the rest of your rent until the end of your lease up front, all of a sudden, all at once. So it's like, sometimes it's to buy yourself out of your lease, you have to pay like $50,000, which is ridiculous. Um, and that's for people, I don't, I'm not paying $50,000 a year for an apartment, that's ridiculous, but that's just the number. What else am I looking for? I'm looking for um, exactly what I would have to pay for. So there's like sewage and electric and like all these things and trash, removal and all these things that you usually would pay for yourself if you owned your house um but sometimes like apartment complexes will take care of that so i'm looking to see if they do that um all these things this will just let me know the relationship that i have financially with my apartment complex um and i'm just reading through girl i'm not trying to get played i'm not trying to get played period i'm making sure that there's documents that say that there's no infestations um there's no previous infestations it's a new place so there's not there's not uh, too much going on there with that, but um, still gotta have it. Yeah, girl, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to update y'all. I I'm gonna go shave all my hair off my body. Bye. Anyway, now that the lease is signed, it's time to grind. We have an announcement to make. So. Um. So I'm starting to pack, and it's like ten at night. I just did my hair, and I finished everything on my to do list for today. So I was like, okay, I guess it's time to start. So I'm taking it section by section. I'm gonna start with underneath my kitchen cabinets and then I'm gonna to move to the closet and then my bathroom cabinets. And then I'll take everything off the walls, disassemble some furniture, pack my lights up. Oh my God, I can't believe this is crazy. I keep telling myself that I don't have that much stuff because I live in a studio, but 
I feel like I have a lot of stuff. And so I purchased, I don't even know how many boxes, a ton of boxes, but all in all, I feel like this should be easy. Like, and I'm kind of inclined to really get rid of a lot of things. So I don't know, let's just get started. I have my boxes for like literally every appliance that I've ever purchased. Cause I have the mind of a mastermind. I thought ahead, everything down to my computer, I have the box for. So I didn't have to purchase too many boxes. Anyways, let's get started. Here's every single thing from underneath the cabinet. Everything's all packed into boxes. That's all I need. Yes, thank you, Lord. That was like easy. Especially when I had all the boxes for all of the little appliances, like my crock pot and my rice cooker and my blender. All of these things had boxes already, so I just popped them in there. And now I have extra counter space for the rest of the month. <laughs> my hair is definitely drying, yes, yes. I'm actually gonna put all these boxes back underneath the sink just because they're all packed up and like all I'll need to do is just take them to the storage. Yeah, one day of packing, complete. Y'all, I just packed my food up so neatly in here. Like, the what? Look yes, this. This is so mama. Neat. I'm shook. There's a lot packed in here. This is not everything, like I have to get some of these cans and random stuff that I literally forgot that I even had. I have sushi rice in here, and for whatever reason, what like the a frick whole is that? bunch of chickpeas, like just me <laughs> beans and chickpeas that I forgot about. And it was also a time where I was like obsessed with making pumpkin pies, so I have like all of those ingredients. Love me some tapatillos, but anyway, I have to like put all of this stuff in a bag somehow. I just wanna make sure that everything is organized, so I have a bunch of these bags that I'll like be using to put all my food in, and I can just carry them and move on out. Honestly, this is the reason why I shop for typically just three days at a time. But you know, the pandemic has revolutionized the way that I shop for food. Where's the toilet paper? Y'all buying up all the lasagna noodles. So we stockpiling over here now, okay? And that's on season one of Extreme Couponing, and season two. Is there, is there a season two? There shouldn't be, I hope not. At any rate, here's me um, throwing away Nutella. This way. It's upsetting me. In my home, girl. This way. Why would you bring this to somebody else's club? So that brings us to the end of moving vlog number one. I hope you all enjoyed it. It's only getting crazier from here. Like, hear me when I say this. It ain't over. Coming up on the next episode of We Moving Out of Here, a moving vlog series by Will on a Whim, completely made by himself and no one else. This is why I'm moving. This is just ridiculous. I have literally no space to do anything here.